everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and we have a new reveal for you. So Stamperia has just released uh, three different collections, and I'm going to go over those with you now. And yes, it is Christmas in July. This collection is gorgeous. You guys are going to love it. So it's my first chance to flip through, as usual. I wait to do it with you guys online. Um, but I did get a glimpse at the cover, and I, I just love it. I love magnolias anyway. And look at this. Look at all the elements that we have in the shop that go with this collection. And I'll go over each one of those. So let's start by going over the 12 by 12 um, core design. They call it the scrapbooking pad. Look at that. That's so pretty. You guys are going to love this collection. Kind of a patchwork here on the Christmas tree. I love this, the uh, the red um, elements in the collection. Oh, look at the deer. Oh, oh my, oh my. Ah, I love this page, everything. Oh, and look at the card toppers, that's nice. I, ay, 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 so much to look at, you guys. <laughs> I can see cards coming out of this really easy. There's their, um, their sort of signature clock. They almost always have a clock in their collection. It's kind of fun. They make for interesting elements in your scrapbook. Now the 12 by 12 that I'm going through right now is like I said, the scrapbook pad, um, more um, cut apart cards. And uh, it also comes in eight by eight. So you can get it in eight by eight or 12 by 12. There's that beautiful magnolia. Oh, I love a stripe page. Okay, we've got these um, beautiful medallions. They're not really a medallion, but circle elements, which I like. Um, most of my uh, projects are done in rectangles, so it's nice to have uh, what is more of an organic shape. Right angles aren't that common in nature. <laughs> so it's kind of nice to mix it up a little bit. These tags are really cute. And I like that you have a choice because sometimes I want to use a few tags, but not all of them. And it's nice to know that you've got a background on, on the back. Ooh, look, here's a blue version and a, a brown, brown, kind of goldish version. And cut apart page. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, so that is scrapbook pad. And as I mentioned earlier, it also comes in the 8x8. Eight eight. Okay same images. Um, <clears throat> Chow Bell is the one that sometimes has a slightly different one or two images that are different uh, between the 8x8 and the 12x12, 12 12, which is kind of confusing to me because I can never figure it out. Uh, Stampery is these collections, um, whether it's 12x12 12 12 or 8x8, 8 will be the same. And so as you can see, the background also comes in 8x8, 8 8, which I love. I really like that. I, like, <clears throat> I like the fact that the collection has a background pad. This is very elegant. Okay, they got a little heavy on the uh, glue there. I'll have to, I'll make sure we set this aside and don't ship it to you guys. It'll probably become uh, one of my project packs. I can work around that. This is very elegant too. I love this. This is very, I hope it comes across very rich. Oh, look at the big trees. Super nice. <clears throat> wow, look at that red. That's a nice color. Okay. Sorry, fingernails are not working. Nice. These work out, if you cut these out, you can use this as a base and then put the smaller card or tag on top of it and then add even more elements like these stripes or these little pieces to make pretty interesting cards. This is a lovely pattern here. This is sort of peachy. Okay, so there's the back. So that is the um, background pack. So there's 10 double-sided backgrounds and 10 double-sided um, uh, core scrapbook pages. Okay, we've got an assortment of 
the the rice papers. This is just beautiful, don't you think? These colors are very rich on the rice paper. This is nice. So these will make beautiful keepsake boxes. Um, I like to sort <laughs> I'm weird. I like to coordinate my Christmas presents so that there's like a theme under the Christmas tree. Some some years it'll be polka dots, sometimes it'll be plaids. Um, this sort of lends itself to like a patchwork look. And then over time I um, use those completed boxes and actually store my ornaments in them. So as I hang up everything on the Christmas tree, I just put my empty box back under the tree and it's coordinated with everything. I know it's silly, but it's fun. And if you're a paper person, you'll, you get it. Lovely. Plants of cards. Okay, so those are the rice papers in the A4 format. We also have, I think I dropped it. Yeah. We also have rice paper. Um, you get eight printed rice papers in the A6 size. So I'm going to bring this up to you guys. So there are the eight patterns that you get in this pack. In just a smaller format. Again, this is A6. That's 4.13 by 5.83 in inches. Just to give you an idea, also by placing my hand here, you get some sense of scale. So um, we also have this. So it comes in this little bundle, which is kind of nice. Then we also have die cuts. So there's an assortment of die cuts in here. And as you can see, there is plenty. Plenty, plenty. Um, this looks like it's ornaments, um, some tree elements, the clock. There's a window in there. Um, a little bit of everything. There's a little bird and a bow. And then this is the ephemera, which has the adhesive on the back. It's a little bit thinner. You still get a ton of these. So it tells us in grams how much it weighs, but it doesn't tell us how many um, elements are in each pack. But uh, a lot, uh, more than you would probably use in a, give, in a given project, but a cross project, yeah. So there's a lot. You can kind of see the sides. So I'm not sure if there's about the same amount in here. They're just thinner. But when you look at it, you can see there's a ton. Um, so that is the ephemera, which is adhesive-backed, a little bit thinner, and the die cuts. We also have this card collection. So in the card collection, you're actually gonna get card toppers, you get a bifold card, and then there's also these tags inside. So that's the front and back of everything. So that's seven cards, five tags, and, and one bookmark. Okay, now we also have these decorative chips that go with the collection. Okay, there's the angels, peace and joy. One that is um, ornaments. Here's that beautiful tree. Look at that. I love it. <clears throat> Row of happy little houses. We've got some deers. And then we also have these um, wooden shapes, which recently I used one of these in Stamperia's um, Vagabond Aviator. And I really liked it. I mean, they're nice. They're not very heavy. Um, but they really make an impact on your project. So that is, let me make sure I've got everything. That is it. Yes. So again, we have the core designs, backgrounds, same thing in the eight by eight, the chip what, chipboard, ephemera, card collection, wooden shapes, a variation of size A4, um, rice paper, and then, uh, also the eight sheet collection pack, which is basically four by six, slightly under, slightly over four and slightly under six. And then we have these decorative chips. Now in this collection, there is no collectible sheet. Um, instead, I think we get the card collection. So that is it for that collection. Give me a minute. I'm going to get organized. I'll be right back with the next one. Go with um, the romantic collection all around Christmas. So another Christmas collection. Now, in this collection, there are 12 by 12s and 8 by 8s. 
in the scrapbook pad, there are no backgrounds. Um, the collection, the romantic collections don't have backgrounds. So let's go ahead and get started. Little kitty cat and a dog. So it's for pet lovers for sure. Oh, these are going to make nice cut aparts here. Um, that's nice. No place like home. That looks like a, the dream dollhouse I wanted when I was a child. Oh, that's very warm and inviting. I like it. And comfy and cozy. That's nice backgrounds. Easy, easy to use. Twinkle, twinkle. Um, I'd be very tempted in a 12 by 12 or the 8 by 8 to make that a double pocket. Um, here and here. Yeah, very pretty. That's so nice. Okay. Very homey country feel to this collection. And there's a little kitty cat and the dog. Lovely. Oh, nice cut of parts. Like that. Cards. These are uh, usually about five and five and a half by five and a half. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's elegant. I like that. Okay. For an advent calendar, you've got your countdown. Some cut apart card toppers. I like to use these as de design elements inside my mini albums. I've got some nice round and varying shapes that make layering so much easier. Ooh, my goodness, I think I might like the back as much as the front in, in this case. So here we go. And more cut aparts. Little banner. The 25th. It's cute. Put like a little photo right there. Cute, cute. Okay, so that's the 12 by 12. Also comes in the 8x8. Now let's look at the collectibles. So the collectibles are, oops, I'm sorry, I bumped that with my head. Let's see, there's 10 double face sheets and this is 6x12, 6x12. Lots of cut of ours, great for um, card toppers, card makers. Yeah, you could do a lot, uh, add a lot of uh, layering and texturing with these. Okay. So these are front and back. So when you when you put it down, if you shape any of these, the back side will, you know, look like a flower. It won't just be like a pattern. That's cute. That that's the that's a tuck spot at the bottom of a page for sure. <clears throat> Oh, how sweet. Sweet, sweet. The forest animals. There's your little corgi. Cute. Uh, one of the things I like about this when they do like animals or whatever is sometimes I want them facing toward the center of the book and not the outside. And when they print them on both sides, you get to choose which orientation the animal is going to be in, which is kind of nice, which is true with things like pictures that are directional as, as well. Or this chair, right? You can have it facing left or right, depending on which side I use. Mm -hmm. Tons of cut apart. Okay. Oh, I like this. A whole bunch of sentiments. These are easy to use on page layouts as well. Okay, there you go. So that is the Romantic Collection, and this is called Collectibles. So what's next? We're going to look at both the die cuts and the ephemera. And as I mentioned before, I mean, they're both die cut, really. But this is on chipboard, and this is a little bit thinner. It is chipboard, but it's not as thick, and this has an adhesive back. This um, is not. You have to glue these down. So um, there is some, what I think is overlap in the collections, uh, but they may be a different scale. So it looks like there's like a baker's rack in here and one in here. They're going to be slightly different, but typically you're, you're really only going to need one or the other, unless you're going to make a whole bunch of cards and then... Um, 
and then having these little uh, cut aparts is really nice to add texture and interest to your cards so yeah I really wish they would tell us how many are in here but as you can see and demonstrated on the previous collection a lot a lot okay so the last I'm gonna go ahead and show you the rice papers so lovely little rice papers oh this is cute 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 These little cut aparts are great for anybody who likes to do, you know, like journaling pages. Just cut a little bit out and then you know, write a little next to it and cut another one out. They make uh, for interesting journal pages. And then these are uh, essentially the same size as a card topper with the uh, four by six. Okay, that's it for the romantic collection, guys. I'll be back in just a minute with the last, the third and last uh, relief. The last, third and last uh, release in this video is Winter Valley, which is another romantic collection, which means there's a scrapbook pad and no backgrounds. Um, this comes in 12 by 12 and 8 by 8, and we've got some other um, elements that are going to go with this collection as well. So, Winter Valley. So all of these are winter slash Christmas releases. I think that was in our field division, I'm not sure. This image was actually in the last romantic uh, collection too, which I'm really liking this. This is just an interesting, uh, it's very clever. I like it. Uh, lots of cut parts over here. Cute little bunny and a fox. Nice. That's pretty. I like it. Ooh, look at that. Mm. That's a nice background shot. Okay. Family. Oh, that's a great title on your 12 by 12 page or eight by eight if you get the smaller collection. I really like that. That's pretty. And uh, you could use this like on the opposing page. I would definitely do that. I'd use family on one side and this on the other for a two page spread. This is nice background paper too. Let's see, uh, easily see how to use that. That's lovely. Oh, everybody's sleeping. This is a nice border piece, too. Oh, no. This, oh, this, oh, my goodness. Yeah, these, these make very nice traditional page layouts. Okay, I would probably wind up fussy cutting a handful of these and sprinkling them throughout my pages. Cute, very cute. Some cut apart uh, card toppers or design elements in your mini albums. Okay, these are full size, so they're six by six. So these are uh, on the larger side. They would, uh, these would be really cute on um, the, the lid of a box, um, a six by six box. Ooh, but the back's really pretty too. Some sentiments. Best wishes, letters to Santa, nice. And then the back side of the tags, which is, is pretty nice. You can actually use those as tags on gifts, I mean, specifically. So lovely. We'll cut apart. Okay, so that is the 12 by 12. Also comes in the 8 by 8. This collection has both the ephemera and the die cuts, ephemera being the adhesive back, the die cuts being a little bit thicker chipboard with no adhesive on the back. You have to glue these down. There's a ton of them. I'd say easily there's over 50. There's probably like 60 die cuts in here. That's a ton. And there's a lot in here too, but they are quite a bit thinner, so it's a little bit harder to tell. Um, I usually get one pack or the other. Um, and I kind of 
it really depends on what I'm going to use them for. If I was doing cards, I'd want it to be a little bit slimmer in albums because I give myself a nice thick gusset between my pages. I would probably go with a thicker. I just think it makes more of a statement when it's popped out. But you can easily do that just by uh, sticking foam or chipboard behind these yourself. So you can um, achieve sort of the same lift um, with this one if you'd like. In addition to the ephemera, adhesive backed and the die cuts, we also have these wood elements, which are nice. I'm, I'm falling in love with those. At first I wasn't sure what to do with them, but I really like them. There's also a card collection that comes with this. And so you've got a folded card. The rest of these are card toppers. There's a bookmark. So you get a total of seven cards, five tags, one bookmark. Okay. And then the last element that I have to share are the A4 um, rest papers. And these are sold as individual sheets. So all of this is available in the shop and shipping now. So head on over to www.scrapandcreate.com and take a look at these new beautiful collections. Oops, drag it on my packaging. And there's one more. My desk just won't accommodate all of them at the same time. The last one. Is. Oops, sorry. Stamper at Christmas Greetings. Again, this one is the one that has the backgrounds. These two, the Romantic Collections, do not. Um, everything has 8 by 8s So yeah, go over there and take a look. See what, uh, see what we've got. And like I said, all these collections are in stock. All the elements I shared with you are in stock and available to ship immediately. We'll see you guys soon.